What's up guys? Uh, today I actually wanted to talk about a really great question I got from one of my students the other day. Um, I was teaching um, an ACT class and I had a student ask me what is the largest class that I ever had in college and I think that's a really good question because um, I haven't explicitly answered that. And so today I'm going to go over the largest class at UC Berkeley. I'm going to go over my personal um, experience with that versus what the factual answer is because there's uh, differences based on majors obviously. So let's get straight into it. Today uh, let's talk a bit about personal. So um, I was obviously a biology major. Um, there's a lot of biology majors at UC Berkeley, specifically focusing on the pre-med emphasis. Um, and even if you don't consider pre-med, biology in general as a major is vast. Um, and so if you want to know about my largest science class, it was actually um, this introductory chemistry course I took in my first semester. If you added up the total um, number of students in that class, it was 1,200, but because there was only a lecture hall that doesn't really fit that many people, we had three sets of 400 people each. So, you know, you had lecture from 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, and you can go to either one of those, and um, each one had 400 students in it. And so that added up to a total amount of 1,200 people in the class, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. Um, so yeah, I walked in on my first day, and I was just like, what the heck? There's so many people here. Um, and to my surprise, there were three sets of that. So you can only imagine how many more people there were. So that's my largest class, if you think about my major, which is a very science-oriented major. Um, and if you wanted to know about my so smallest class, the way classes are arranged in college is that you have lower division classes and upper division classes. Lower division classes are kind of the classes that a large number of people will take. For example, anyone majoring in bioengineering, anyone majoring in chemistry, anyone majoring in, I don't know, physics, would have to take general chemistry because general chemistry is a lower division class. However, as you become more and more specialized, you have to take more and more specific upper division courses. In my case, because I was a neurobio major, I had to take very advanced neurobio classes. So in my last semester, um, I took this advanced upper division neuroanatomy course, which was very, very intense. And you know, there can only be so many people there because there's only so many people majoring in that. And believe it or not, even that class was 165 people. So that was my smallest um, biology related class if you were thinking strictly science related because almost every science class man it was going jam-packed and to put this all into context UC Berkeley is a is a university that has 25,000 undergraduates and 10,000 graduate students for a total population of about 35,000 students which is again um, if you wanted to standardize all of this with that context you could but again just know that public schools have big classes um, okay so my largest non-science class was this uh, was this class I took that was uh, called a Forms of Folklore. It was actually a very interesting class. It talked about different types of folk um, stories around the United States, around the world, really. And um, that was 250 people. So, pretty large. And if you want to know my smallest non-science class, it was an Italian literature course I took. And that was only 25 students, right? So these are all just from my personal experiences and um, what I got from my four years. Uh, now let me actually give you the factual answer. What is the largest class size at UC Berkeley? You might you may be surprised how how many students are in this class. Factually, the largest class at UC Berkeley is the introductory CS class, which is uh, kind of like the broad introduction to computer science that everyone has to take. If you want to major in computer science, you want to major in engineering, you want to major in uh, electrical engineering, almost most uh, mathematically inclined individuals majoring in uh, any sort of STEM related field uh, we'll have to take this class. And believe it or not, this is the largest class. It has over a thousand people in one class. So I told you my chemistry class had 1,200 people. But that was kind of cheating because they broke that 1,200 up into three sections of 400. This is straight 1,000 people in one class. All right, And you can see right there, this is actually this semester, spring 2017. Um, you'll see that there's legit 961 people enrolled in the class right now, but they have space for 1,052. So it just goes to show you, there are more than 1,000 people in one class, okay? Um, and believe it or not, this happened about two or three years ago where they Berkeley had its first 1,000-person class, and it was, again, computer science. And also, the reason why this is less than 1,000 is because it's like, um, I think almost midway through the semester right now. So obviously the highest numbers in this class will be at the beginning, but as people drop, as it gets closer and closer to the end of the semester, you get a lower number. But I guarantee you at the beginning, this was definitely full to, to brim. So this is probably at 1,052, but people have dropped since then. Um, believe, and, and here's the funny part. When this class, when CS61A actually ended up getting um, the first uh, year where it had more than 1,000 people, the professor, you can actually watch this on YouTube, the professor said 
don't come to class because it's a fire hazard. There's so many people that we don't have a single lecture hall on the UC Berkeley campus that holds a thousand people. So you'll see that if you look at the location of this, it's held in a ballroom. It's not even held in the lecture hall, it's held in a ballroom. <laughs> so it goes to show you how big this class is. So that is factually the largest class at UC Berkeley and it has over a thousand students. Um, the smallest class at UC Berkeley, there's actually a lot of them. Lots of English classes have about 20 students. Lots of decals, which are student-led student -led courses at UC Berkeley, have 20 students. And lots of graduate student courses, because grad students um, take, don't take as many classes, tend to have about 20 students. So you'll, you'll find yourself um, definitely having classes that are small, but if you end up doing um, you know, very broad, general, um, overview classes like computer science, you will be definitely in a room where you have way more people than you have ever seen in your life in one place. So hopefully this answered your question. It's a really good thing to know. And uh, again, always take it, a good, take it with a grain of salt. It's 1,000 people can be scary, but it's always uh, interesting to see how you get such a wide diversity of individuals around you. So uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. See you later. Thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.